Nunavut Tungvik Incorporated is holding an election for president next month. And this year, they're offering $100 vouchers to eligible voters in the territory to encourage people to vote. But as the CBC's TJ Deer reports, the new strategy hasn't been without controversy. Voter turnout in elections for Nunavut Tungavik Incorporated has been very low. The 2021 presidential election saw 17.5% of eligible voters cast a ballot. So, for the first time, NTI is offering $100 vouchers to voters to encourage people to vote. Kilikva Kabluna is the chief executive officer of NTI. She challenged the potential perception that NTI is using the vouchers to buy votes. People don't have to vote to receive the voucher. They will receive the voucher when they receive their ballot, and that's for efficiency. The voucher will be handed out at the same time as the ballot, but the poll clerks will not be monitoring whether a person has voted or not. Former NCI Vice President James Ituluk says the vouchers are a good idea. He says it's important to get young people to vote. There are many more of them today who are eligible to vote. Us older parents are not being listened to. We see that more and more. A phone-in show was held on CBC Radio's Tausuni this afternoon, and Nunavumiut gave their opinions live on the air. Many callers were not in support of the program. Despite NCI's claims that it wasn't bribery, Leslie Kanguk of Pond Inlet says it is. We're able to bribe our children like this. If you eat this, I'll get you this. We bribe them into it. That is how I see this move by NTI, like they're bribing. This is very wrong. We are talking about some serious money. This money could have been spent on something better. As part of their voter engagement strategy, NTI is also encouraging voters to tune into the All Candidates debate on November 30th. They're also offering the four candidates a $5,000 travel allowance to visit as many communities as possible. Election day is December 9th. TJ Deer, CBC News, Iqaluit.